Welcome to another video with Inside the Heartland. Today's video book will cover the essentials of patient care. It's brought to you by Trial Join, Heartland Clinical Research, and your host, me, Ari Butani, and Heather Diedrich. Heather is a Pharma Times finalist for Clinical Researcher of the Year, the America's 2018, 2017, and 2016. We hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned. first meet with the patient, remember to have a smile on your face, regardless of how your day might be going. The first few seconds are key. It will help set a friendly tone with the patient, and it is a great impression of the facility. You want to ultimately create a pleasant environment during a potentially scary and unfamiliar time for people. One thing you want to do is try to make it as sincere as possible. A technique to help you achieve this is by thinking about something that makes you genuinely happy. Stand in front of a mirror and even practice. Notice how much your cheeks look. Repeat the smile by focusing on your eyes. Usually the corners of your mouth should raise more as a side effect of activating your eyes in the smile. So smile more. Help patients feel at ease and help them start feeling comfortable with you. Maintaining good eye contact is key and gives you several benefits. It shows you that you care, that you're paying attention to the patient, and it is a component to help you build a quicker relationship with the person that is right in front of you. It will help you recognize people who are feeling uncomfortable, and it may also help point out any insecurities that the patient may have. Eye contact can be a powerful thing that creates strong emotions inside of us. It is great practice to keep it as we start talking. Keep better eye contact as you talk to the patient to keep their attention from drifting. Hopefully these tips will help you keep better eye contact with your patients and help them feel more comfortable with you. Promote questions. During your first meeting with the patient, you want to encourage them to ask questions. Oftentimes, patients can be afraid to ask questions that might lead them to being not able to participate or having invalid views of research. This is why you should let them know that it is actually okay to ask questions. At the same time, asking your patient questions might help them ask you questions back in return. Examples of this are asking if they understand what clinical research is, or maybe asking them what the different phases are and what is involved in them, or maybe what they mean. This question and explanation are great to go over during the tail end of any pre-screen phone call. I hope this encouraged you to get your patients to ask more questions and proactively provide questions and explanations to them. It will help you keep more of your patients in your studies. Share or like this if you found it useful. Leave a comment so we know who you are and stay tuned for the next episode of Inside the Heartland with Heather Diedrich. Thank you everyone for listening and watching.